Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Nurul Irah Fazirah Binti Safar and I'm a master student of civil engineering program from Mistim Malaysia Sabah, Malaysia. Now, I will present the paper that has been written by me and my supervisors in title of Identification of Pit Profile, Fissure Chemical Properties and Microstructure on Different Pit Soil Vegetation Types. So, let's begin. Move to the first one, Introduction. Here is the outline for today's presentation, which consists of introduction, materials and method, result and discussion, and last but not least, the conclusion part. Pit soil has been accumulated over the last 20,000 years according to Hobbes 1986. Next, pit is made up of dead plants that decompose slowly in an acidic environment and under water lock condition below the water table. Refer to Hashim and Islam, there are two types of pit which is shallow pit for pit soil less than 3 meter thick and another one is the deep pit which is more than 5 meter thick. Moreover, pit soil has been exist around 1 billion acres that is 4.5% of total land area in this world. Malaysia is the ninth country in the world with 2.56 million hectares of pit soil while Sabah has 200,600 hectares of pit soil. Here is the distribution of pit soil in Malaysia. Sarawak with around 1.6 million hectares is the largest one, while Semenanjung is the second one and Sabah is the last one. In Sabah, the lower Kinabatangan River and Klias Forest Reserve are the majority of pit soil. Pit soil are considered as the problematic soil because of its low shear strength and high compressibility. Then, pit are forms varies according to climate, soil types, and local vegetation. Besides, it also varies by the location due to the factors like origin fiber, temperature, and humidity. Next, for second section is about materials and method. So, here is the sampling location which is at Bufot, Sabah, Malaysia. There are two sites location that has been investigated that are Klias and Lumadan. Laboratory Testing There are eight lab tests that have been conducted according to the BS standard, ASTM standard and also refer to the operation manual of the equipment. The testing are moisture content, organic content, fiber content, specific gravity, liquid limit, pH value, EDX, and lastly, SEM. Under field survey and observation, the local vegetation at Klias is oil palm trees, while the plantation at Lumadan are rubber trees and agar wood. Furthermore, the one post scale for Klias is H6 to H7, and for Lumadan, it is H7. According to Carlson and Hansmo, this pit is hemic with intermediate degree of decomposition. To obtain the pit soil profile, pit sampler has been used. Here is the apparatus and the result. This picture shows the pit profile of clay sample which is 4 meter depth. This field test is conducted until the clay soil is obtained. Next, Lumadan sample shows 4.5 meter depth. The depth of the pit profile varies according to the study site. Consequently, Pits in this research are categorized as intermediate deposit thickness. Move to the result and discussion part. Here is the result of pit properties which are moisture content, organic content, fiber content, specific gravity, liquid limit, and pH value for Klias and Lumadan sample. Moisture content shows Klias obtain higher value compared to Lumadan. The groundwater level at depth of 0.2 to 0.6 meter below the ground did influence the high value of moisture content. Then, Klias samples had more organic content with 99.42%. The organic content will increase with the soil wetness rate. Vegetation type also could influence the organic content result. Next, with 97.03%, Klias has more fiber content compared to Lumadan. Klias and Lumadan samples were moderately degraded, commonly known as hemic pit. 
the specific gravity. Result are 1.22 for class and 1.57 for lumadan. Specific gravity for class samples is lower due to the higher fiber content. As the amount of organic content increases, the specific gravity of peat or organic soil will decrease. Kelias also shows higher liquid limit with 171%. Kelias which has more fiber resulting a higher water absorption capacity. Moisture content and organic content of clear sample also greater. Next, Lumadan shows higher pH value, however, it's still in acidic condition, same like Kelias. The result may have been influenced by their organic content. Energy Dispersive X-ray Spectroscopy, EDX, has been conducted to obtain the chemical element in the soil sample. The similar elements for both samples are carbon, oxygen, iron, and gold. Kalias samples also have nitrogen, while Lumadan samples have aluminium, silicon, and potassium. Carbon is the major element for both samples. Gold, where did it come from? Groundwater is the primary source of gold. Then, plants take ionic gold from the water. Later, peat soil that made of the composition of plant will contain gold indirectly. Scanning electron micrograph SEM has been conducted to know the microstructural of peat samples. Here is the image that obtained. Glass samples are fiber-rich, woody, porous in nature, and loose fabric patterns with bigger voids. The remnants of small stems, rootlets, and cell walls are also fairly considerable. While the Lumadan samples are less organic and fiber matter, flaky granular texture, and less empty pores. Last but not least, the conclusion part. There are four main conclusions that has been gained. First one, Kleas and Lumadan pit are classified as hemic with one post of H6 to H7. Second, the result of moisture content, organic content, fiber content, specific gravity, liquid limit, and pH value are differed for Kleas and Lumadan because of their own unique mix and different in vegetation composition. The chemical element of pit soil at this research is influenced by the type of soil plants, groundwater level, and local climate condition. Lastly, based on microstructural tests, SEM, pit samples have slightly varied features that help to describe the decomposition properties of pit. That's all from me. Thank you.